Welcome back to our video series where we are 3D modeling a scooter. Now in the last video we created this much of our scooter deck. In this video we're going to completely finish our deck. Alrighty, so the next step is to head down towards the rear end of our scooter and we're going to chop a little uh, square shape actually just out of this section here on that side and also around on this side. So to get started on that we need to sketch onto a new work plane. So up the top in your ribbon just select a new plane and I want you to click on this long base edge of your scooter. Not the face, I just want this long bottom line. Click on that once. Zooming out, you can move your mouse around and get these different planes. You want the one that sits upright like that. So just move your mouse down a little bit and you should see an upright work plane that runs parallel with the XZ plane. Just click once there. Don't change the degrees and press the green tick. Okay, if I just swing that around, you can see we've got a work plane now. That will allow us to draw just off the edge of our um, scooter deck. So let's start a 2D sketch and draw this little square that I was talking about. To click on your work plane, remember you can't click in the center because it doesn't select it. You need to actually hover around the edges until it highlights like that and click once. And now we're dra drawing on this work plane. So zooming in on the um, tail end of our deck, I'm going to grab a two point center rectangle. Actually, before I do that, I might even project some geometry onto this plane. Okay, so click Project Geometry and just click on this circle once. And that gives us the circle up on this plane, so it gives a bit of a reference for what to draw. Okay, now we can go back and choose the two-point center rectangle. Clicking on the center point of that circle, it will hover green when you're over it. I want you to make a square that is 14 by 14 millimeters and press Enter. Finish the sketch once you've done that. And we're just going to click Extrude. With the Extrude button selected, choose the Square section. Okay, and we want it to cut back in on itself, so choose the Cut option. Leave the distance as 10 millimeters. Press OK. And you can see now you've got a little cut towards that tail. Okay, you can hide this work plane now. So you just right click on it when it's selected and turn the visibility off. You can get a better view of what's going on there, that little cut. Now we need to repeat that for the other side. So let's just swing our deck around and repeat the process. So let's grab a new plane to work on. Click on this bottom edge. Bring it up like that, just like that. And press the green tick. So now we've got a work plane on the other side of our scooter that we can draw on. Let's make a new 2D sketch. Remember to click around the edge there when it's highlighted and start on this work plane. Zooming in towards the end, we're going to grab, oops, sorry, we'll project the geometry first. Just go and click once on the circle and then go and grab your two point center rectangle. Clicking on the center of that circle, just click and drag out a square that's 14 by 14 again. Press enter, finish the sketch. We're going to extrude the rec no, the square, so just click somewhere inside that square and make sure it cuts back in on itself at a distance of 10 mil. Press OK. You can right click on that plane when it's highlighted and turn the visibility off and you've got that section done. Okay, so I'll just swing back to the home view now and we can move on to the next bit. So the next thing you want to do is we're going to draw yet another new plane to work on. We're going to go do some work up the front end of our scooter. So this time with the plane, we're going to choose the new offset from plane. Okay, so click offset from plane and I want you to go over to your origin folder here. And the plane that we're going to offset from is the YZ plane. So this one just here. The distance that we're going to offset from is going to be minus 3.9, oh sorry, no it's not, it's 391.5 millimeters. And when you press the green tick, so make sure you get minus 391.5, it's going to push your plane up towards the end over here. Okay, so if you have a look around, it's just positioned off this little um, cylindrical section just there. All right, so what we need to do now is a new sketch on this plane. Okay, so grab your Start 2D Sketch and go and click on this new plane. And it swings you around at the front of the shape. 
Okay, from here we need to draw some rectangles. So go up and grab your rectangle tool. So make sure it's the two point center one. We're just going to draw two rectangles. Okay, make sure you're on this center line. If you want, you can project geometry and I wonder if that's going to bring up that center line for us. I think it does. It's all right. Grab your rectangle. There we go. Now we can see that center line a bit better. So you click and drag out from the center there. The first one is going to be uh, 26 millimeters wide and it's going to be 15 millimeters high. Press enter. Then we're going to come down a little bit further and still hovering over that center line. Click and drag out. I'm going to draw a second rectangle this time. It's going to be 26 for the width and 29 for the height this time, so a little bit bigger than last time. All right, and that's given us two rectangles to work with, so that's good. Our next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill at the edges of these rectangles. So at the top you've got the fillet option. The size of the fillet is going to be three millimeters. And I just want you to click around each side of your rectangles. That's just going to smooth out the edges, make them into rounded rectangles. Like so. Press escape when you're done there and you've got two rounded rectangles. Now this geometry, um, I wonder if we can hide it. Just click on delete, I think. Oh no, it's not going to do it. Just annoying me a little bit, that geometry, but it looks like I'm stuck with it for now. Uh, what we're going to do is just quickly dimension these shapes. So grab your dimension tool. And what we're going to do first of all, is we're going to get the top of this rectangle. And click on the center of the cylinder. Just drag out to the side there. The distance you want is 16.461. Press enter. The distance now between the two rectangles, so click on the base of this top rectangle, click on the top of this bottom rectangle. The distance between them is 5.258. Press enter. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. That's all our dimensioning done, so we can finish that sketch off. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do just to finish it off is extrude those two shapes. So you might need to go and click on those two rectangles. And the distance is to next. Alright, and we're going to be cutting to the next, not building. So make sure you cut. And click OK. Now that's cleared things up a bit. And you can see it's cut through into that cylinder there. Okay, so that looks good. So that work plate is done and dusted, so you can right click on that, turn its visibility off. So that should be looking pretty good now. We're getting close. Okay, so let's keep pushing along. Um, we're going to do some work on the underside now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new sketch on the YZ plane. So just start a new 2D sketch and choose the YZ plane like so. Now this sketch needs to go on the underside of the um, deck, so just remember that. We're going to draw two circles. I'll just get it level again so it's like that. We're going to draw two circles, one over here and one over here. Alright, so grab your circle tool. Don't snap them right to the center, okay? otherwise they're constrained to that point. So just hover away so you haven't got that little green circle. And click out the first circle. Okay. And the size of these circles are going to be simply two millimeters, so very small. There's the first one. Drag it out, two mil, press enter. There's the second one. Press escape to turn the circle tool off. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. We need to dimension these circles now. So grab your dimension tool, click on the center. I'm just going to let us click on the center of that circle. I might just have to click on this. Oh no. I might just twist it around a little bit so we can see the base a bit better. So we want to dimension that center point. There it is, there, to this middle line over here. It needs to be 30 mils. 
That was a little bit painful to do, but we'll try that again. So I'm just zooming in and out here. We'll fill it, uh, not fill it, sorry, we'll dimension this center point with this center line over here. 30 mil, press the tick. Must have been already 30 mil, so that's all good. Oh, no, it wasn't 30 mil. It was almost 30 mil. There we go. A little bit confusing there, but basically I drew two circles. Let me just get it back up here. I drew two circles and made sure they were both 30 mil from this center line. Okay, that's all I did. So I made that a little bit harder than what it needed to be. Once you've done that, you can finish the sketch. Okay, and then we're just going to extrude both of those circles. So I'm going to zoom in here so I can see what's going on. I might have to click on both of those circles. There we go. Now the extents. We're going to choose something we haven't chosen before. It's called between. And we're going to extrude this between two faces on our deck. So one face is going to be this one. The other face is going to be at the front of the deck. So this one here. What that has done now is extruded those circles both ways between those two faces on our deck. Click OK. You can see what's happened now. We've got these two little grooves on the underside of our deck. Okay, that's all I was drawing there. Pretty easy. We're going to chop out a little bit of the bottom of the deck now as well. So we'll start a 2D sketch and do it just on this big section on the bottom of our deck. I'll just flip it around like so. You can zoom out a little bit more actually. Now we're going to draw a rectangle. Uh, it's the two point rectangle from the center. So make sure you choose two point center. And we might as well draw it. Actually, I won't constrain it there. I'll draw it just a little bit off center. Now the sizes, the height is what we're doing first. So it's 429.07. Press tab. Um, the width that we've got is 52.111. Okay, and you can press enter on that. And that gives you this rectangle. Now I'm just going to press escape and move this rectangle down a little bit so it's back on my deck. Now I'm going to dimension this top section to get it in the right position. So just click dimension, click on the top of the rectangle you've just drawn and click on this line just here. Okay, and the distance between those two is going to be 5.132 millimeters. Press the green tick and you should have your rectangle fitting nicely now on your deck. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to finish that sketch. And I'm going to extrude that rectangle a little bit. We're going to cut back in on itself. And the distance is going to be 12.75. We'll click OK. That's just taking out a little bit of our deck on the bottom there. Okay, it hasn't touched the grooves. They're still either side of that rectangle. And that's the base of our deck looking pretty decent. All right, the last bit, which is quite annoying and a little bit tricky, it's the mud flap, or the brake bit that goes at the back here. Okay, I don't like doing this bit, but let's give it a go. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to start a new 2D sketch, and we're going to put it on the XZ plane. That's the plane that runs straight through the middle of our scooter. Okay, so that's going to flip a side on. Now we're going to project a bit of geometry. All right, so we're just going to tilt our, our deck up a little bit like this. I'm going to click the Project Geometry button up here. I want you to click on this semicircle that you see just here. Just click on it once, you see a little yellow line appear. Okay, and that's all we need. That looks good. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a bit of an arc. I'm going to go back to this side on view here, zoom back in a little bit, and we're going to grab our arc tool here. So we want the arc to start smack bang on that yellow line, the end of that yellow line. So click once and come up. Now this bit, it doesn't really matter what your sizes are, as long as it looks realistic. So I'm going to go to about, let's say there, and then just move to the left and get a bit of an arc where you think this break or mud flap, whatever it's called, is going to go. Okay, if you want, you can dimension it. I might say right in 45 for that one. Alright, and if I just go fully side on again now, that's basically how my arc's going to look. Okay, so I'm going to finish that sketch. 
So that gives me a skinny little arc down there. It's a little bit more, whoops, a little bit more that we need to do. We're going to do a new sketch again now. This time on the top face of our deck. Okay, it's going to look like that. I'm just going to swing my deck around so it's looking vertical, and I'm going to zoom in towards the bottom section again. I'm going to project some geometry and click on that same little semicircle we clicked on before just here, and that yellow line will reappear. And that's going to help us as a bit of a guide for drawing this next bit. We're going to draw two circles. So grab your circle tool. Now hover over the end of that yellow line again. And I want you to drag out a circle that is 30mm in size. And then do the same again by drawing another circle from that center point that's 32mm diameter in size. So you've got two circles looking like that. Okay. Zooming in again, I'm going to grab the line tool. And I'm just going to draw a line that goes through the center point here. It pretty much cuts our circles in half. Oops. Not sure what this line's doing, but anyway, there we go. We've got our line cutting those circles in half. What I'm going to do now is grab the trim tool, and I'm going to trim away half of these circles and any of the lines we don't need so that we're eventually left just escape with it's like a little rainbow. Okay, make sure those little green lines just here are still there. This shape needs to be connected. Okay, once you've got that. Finish your sketch. Okay, so you've now got an arc and you've got this little rainbowy kind of shape here as well. What we're going to do is we're going to use this sweep tool to create the mud flaps. So click on sweep, you'll see that this section becomes selected. Choosing the path now, so make sure you've got path selected here. Click on the green line and you'll see your mud flap forms. Uh, I don't think you need to do anything special here, so just click on OK. Some little warning box will come up, just say yes, and you can see that you've got your mud flap. I'm surprised that worked first time for me. So that looks really good. That is our deck done. Okay, what I'm going to do though before we go any further is add a splash of color. If you look back at my example here, I've got a bit of color in it, which I think looks really good. So let's just push it off to the side and get our appearance panel down here. Okay, I'm going to select the edges. First of all, and you need to get in nice and close here. I'm holding shift while I do this. I'm just going around and selecting as many of these outside edges as I can. Okay, and I'm going to color them sky blue. Okay, then I'm just going to go around and color a few other bits black and um, a bit of pink in there as well. I'll just show you how to do this bit really quickly, and then I'll pause the video and quickly color it in and then come back in a sec. So once you've got everything selected you want to color in, just hover over the color you like, press the up arrow, and that colors it in. Okay, simple as that. I'll pause the video, I'll be back in a sec once I've finished coloring my scooter in. Alright, so welcome back. This is my final product all done and colored. So you can see underneath there we've got a nice shade of black, blue around the outsides, a little splash of pink here and there as well. And we've got hot pink wheels. So I didn't put too much pink in on the deck. Alrighty, so save that up and I'll see you in the next video.